What's good, YouTube? Marcus Crockett back with another video. And in this video, I'm actually on my way to go do uh, another uh, walkthrough. I got to do a walkthrough, meet with a prospect, you know, look at look at what it is they want. I think this is a paint store that I'm going to. So they're probably only going to want the floors done, which is fine. Um, but, but that's what I'm thinking. I don't know. It may be their corporate office or something. It could be different. I don't know. But if, if, it, if it's a regular retail store, I'm 99% sure that they're going to just want the floors done. But we'll see if I'm right. I don't know. So um, I, got a, I got a question uh, not too long ago about, like, how am I going about getting these? How am I going about getting these accounts, right? And um, the, the way that I go about, well, it's all due to marketing. It's all to how you market your company, and there really isn't a right, right or wrong way to do it, right? So whether you are going out handing out flyers, whether you are doing cold calls, or you have, uh, like I have my own uh, lead generation service. It's a private service. I, I don't open it up to the public. Um, it's all in-house, right? But, but um, and I don't open it up to the public for, for a couple of different reasons. I may make a video about that later on. And I may open it up later on. I don't know. But as of right now, uh, it's not open. But um, that's how we get a lot of our contracts, either through flyers, uh, referrals, through my lead generation service, through um, dip in it, through Google My Business. Um, I don't give, I really don't care how we get our walk, but that's how we do it. But you shouldn't really care how you get them as long as you get them, right? And then you figure out, okay, well, yeah, I'm, I'm getting them. I wonder how am I getting them? And then once you figure out exactly how, then put, magnify your focus on that specific area, right? That's how it, that's how it, it, it should be. Now, here's the thing. The last, uh, the last, the last video I did, I think it was the last video. I don't know. It was me doing a walkthrough. Um, and it just so happened, it was, it was a dental office that I was doing. So my whole thing is efficiency. Do not procrastinate. Be efficient in your efforts and always follow up right so after the walkthrough um, I sent the proposal the following day which is fine right send it the following day after about 15 or 20 minutes of me sending that proposal I get a phone call now the phone call is not the person I met with but they represent that company and not only do they represent that company they represent uh, like 25 or 30 other companies and the way that the conversation went was hey we I heard good things about you I heard good things about your company and I think that maybe we might be able to, to do a bigger partnership as long as your company can handle it so I said in another video like don't take things that you know that you cannot handle if you truly can't handle them and don't say that you can handle something if you can't handle it. But in this case, with 25, I think it was 25, 26, something like that, different companies they want to bring in, I know that we have the resources to handle those. So that's how the conversation went. Now, obviously, when you have such a large, uh, when one client brings such a large book of business, they're going to want wholesale prices. That's just the way it goes. That's for anything. When Walmart goes and they go and buy uh, socks or whatever the hell, you know, whatever they buy, they're buying those things in bulk and they're buying them at wholesale prices. They're buying them lower than everything else because they're not playing, they're playing a volume game. So when you get with a customer who wants to give you a lot of volume, expect for your prices to be a lot lower, lower than they would be if it was just one or two, um, you know, different clients in different areas or, or whatever. <coughs> So we already, so I know that already, right? So we talked a little bit about that. Um, I gave them a different price based on the volume and um, we're gonna see what happens from here. Whether or not I get it, um, it, it doesn't, I mean, it matters because my, my ultimate goal is to get to that uh, seven figure mark a year. So it definitely does matter, but I'm not stressing over it like I would have been maybe four or five years ago. Like biting my nails, like, oh, I hope I get it, hope I get it, hope I, like, I'm, I mean, yeah, I do hope I get it, but that's not going to take my, divert my attention or divert my focus away from uh, the client that I'm about, the prospect that I'm about to go see right now. So, um, 
the whole point of me bringing that up was, you know, talking about how do I get these walkthroughs? How do I get these walkthroughs? How do I get leads? So on and so forth is, um, so I told you the, the, the ways in which you can control, but the way that I, the way that I'm talking about this 25 or 26 or whatever it was, that is pure luck, right? I was in the right place at the right time and I was offered the right, I was offered the, the, the chance to have the right deal. So that's luck. Sometimes you get lucky. You know what I mean? But some people say, well, there is no such thing as luck. You create your own luck. I don't know. But whatever it is, if if, 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 if they want to come with us and the money makes sense, I'm going to take it. I don't care whose luck created what. Like, because at the end of the day, you know, I got goals that I got to reach. I have uh, families that I have to be able to, to help take care of. You know what I mean? So it, I don't, it doesn't really matter at the end of the day how you get a certain account. Once you figure like, okay, I'm getting it. How did I get this? Did I get it through a phone call, email, whatever, whatever. And then whatever way it is, and you divert all of your marketing dollars or most of your marketing dollars into that, or most of your marketing efforts into that. Whatever whatever it is that you, um, however it is that you're getting them. You know what I'm saying? But um, I don't wanna go on too long. I'm about to get to this, off, to this office. Um, I'm gonna get in here and see if I can film, and yeah, we all go from there. So I'll see you in a minute. I will follow you. Sure. So we have the office that is in this account, but this would probably be one place I'd want to have cleans. Okay. And then the bathrooms. So, so we typically in our regular offices that we do. We try not to touch the paperwork. Yeah. Um, so as long as like the the debt, we we can clean around it unless everything is up there. We can, yeah. We can clean the entire thing. Yeah. We had our floors down, so everything's up. Okay. Awesome. But yeah. Um, recycle. Is that a thing? Um, we do our own recycling. Okay. There is recycling out out back. So you, would you want us to take it out? Uh yeah. Okay. So but, trash well, recycle. Well, no, the boys the boys do that. Okay. At the end of the night, that's all good. Do you currently have a service here now? Okay. Um, I'm new to this location, so I just, it was good timing. Where'd you come from? Um, okay, so you, all your Penguin products are from CentOS? Yep. Awesome. Okay, so you have one, two restrooms. Okay. How many, and so I'm assuming like once a week or so? Mm -hmm. All right, I just got done. Oh, I don't go that way. I just got done with the walkthrough. Um, I was wrong. It was it was definitely a paint store. I said typically when we go to stores like that, they just want the floors done. Uh, and it looks like she's not really interested in getting the floors done. They already have a, a company that does that does the floors, but um, she was interested in getting just like some small areas cleaned. And that would honestly. I don't think we're gonna. I don't think we're gonna end up getting it, um, just because it's not. That would be the first. That would be the first time we're actually going in to service um, a retail store like that. Usually they don't. Usually they they don't want their areas done or they do it with within house. But um, you know the bathrooms are are always are always pretty bad whenever you're working. In a retail store or a warehouse or something like that, the bathrooms are usually pretty dirty. But um, based on what she wanted, it was all going to fall under. Um, it wouldn't take very long at all. It would end up being um, our minimum pricing. It would be priced out at our very minimum, and I didn't even need to. Uh, I really didn't even need to um, to like go in and calculate anything. I can just look at it and tell. Like that, this is what the pricing is going to be. But again, like I don't think we're gonna end up getting that account, and just because it may not, it, I don't, you know, it may not be in their budget um, to to add a cleaning service into it. But we'll see. Um, I gave her the number, which I said something else I never do. Um, I gave her the number, and I will email her a proposal um, just to kind of see if we end up going, if they end up coming with us. Uh, it'll be, only be a matter of time before we get the um, the flooring job the flooring job will probably pay around uh, probably around twelve or thirteen hundred dollars each time it's done and, and because it's a high traffic store we'll probably do it at least four times a year 
uh, you know, once a quarter. So it'll work out, you know, if, if it's if we do uh, decide to go in business with each other, you know, it'll 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 all work out. But that's the way it is. That's what happens. That's what that's what uh, that's the way we we get business. That's the way things keep going. I will keep her um, as a prospect for uh, flooring services. You never know what what will happen, what could happen. So um, you know, even though that they have a company. You know, now she has another company. She has somebody to to, to uh, fall on in case you know that company goes out of business or they do a bad job or whatever the case is. You know, they got somebody else. So she's definitely somebody that I will probably uh, put into my put on my reminders to email once a quarter just to keep keep a fresh face, touch base. Um, that's that, man. That's how we do it, and. That is the end of my business day. Um, unless some, oh, while I was in there, I got a notification that I got another, um, that my, my company put put together another uh, walkthrough on the 25th. I gotta actually go through and read. Like I, I got like five or six next week. Uh, five or six next week. And um, it, in order for me to get the number that I need to be at, I know that I need to be having at least five or six a day. And by the time I get to having five or six walkthroughs a day, uh, I will be at that seven figure mark, but just based on the numbers and how we, how things will, uh, how um, we'll end up closing so many, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll be at seven figures. But by that time, I'll have a lot of, I'll have more help um, helping me do some of this stuff. So uh, yeah, we just, we, we, we getting it. A slow and steady ran the race. But like I say, guys, I'm always dropping jewels. Please make sure you're in a position to pick them up by liking, commenting, and subscribing. My name is Marcus Crockett. I will catch you in the next one. Peace.